A statement from Coach Houck and then questions for both the student athletes and the coach. Coach? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, first, congratulations to South Dakota State. They uh, did a nice job going and <coughs> taking the win today. Uh, I thought they played really hard throughout the game. I thought they were well prepared. Uh, and on that same token, I thought we were too. I thought our guys played really hard. Uh, I'm appreciative of our guys' efforts. And, uh, you know, they just uh, had too much for us. There was a couple plays that got away. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't get off the field on third down in the first half. Um, anyway, I thought our guys played hard. And uh, we just uh, didn't quite get there today, which is kind of the story of our season. Take a show of hands if we can. Oh, I guess you, here, yep. you said a couple couple of plays got away. Just what did you feel were those big plays and how did, did that impact the game? Uh, the double pass throwback to the quarterback. Um, us starting the drive in our own five, I think, and going down and then throwing the pick in the end zone. And then the uh, third and 17 corner out at the end of the first half. Those, those were the three. Over here. Coach, just that. Uh, start of the second half, obviously, you guys kind of get that big stop on defense. Do you think that spurred you guys a little bit kind of going up second half? Well, you know, every time we, we tried to <coughs> see some momentum, they kind of, especially in the first half, you know, we were up 3 um, they, uh, we, we didn't get off the field, and that was, you know, that was a good job by them. We just didn't win in third down, and, and uh, you know, I think that's probably the real story, especially the first half. Kevin, when you go to, against their offense and Grunowski, just kind of what challenges did he present today in the second go around season? Um, yeah, he's, he's a good quarterback. Um, just spins it well. He can run. Um, yeah, we just didn't do well. I didn't do a good enough, good enough job in the back end. Um, but he's good. Yeah. Just for uh, both Keelan and Trevin, just obviously seniors on this team, just how would you guys just kind of sum up your time here at Montana, just for the last few years, obviously national championship run, Trevin, what you can start to do? Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love this place. Uh, I love putting on the maroon and silver. Um, it's, it's, it's been the most, the most fun thing I've ever done. Been awesome. Um, you know, I had coming here as a walk on. I had no idea of anything about this place, and, and just very appreciative that I was I was taken in with open arms and treated like family. And um, yeah, it's just been a, it's just been special to, to be a part of this program. And uh, yeah, Bobby, what are you going to remember the most about this year's senior class? Uh you know, they're, they've come from a, there's a disparity in backgrounds and time here in the program, but uh, the one thing that's uh, consistent is how much and Trevin enunciated it really well, how much they care about the, the Montana Grizzlies and <coughs> playing for Montana. I think the uh, uh, vast majority genuinely believe that the name on the front of the jersey is more important than the back. And, uh, you know, we love our guys. They, they play hard for Montana. And they care about winning and losing a lot. Keelan, when you to look at their defense, just what, what challenges that they presented you guys trying to get going on offense and had some moments, but they were able to kind of shut things down for the most part of that game. Yeah, um, we knew we knew it was going to be an execution game, and uh, yeah, just bottom line, we didn't we didn't execute very well. But Go ahead. Bobby, why uh, start Ayat, play him the whole game, and just your uh, how you thought he played today? Um, well, we started him because he thought we thought he'd give us the best chance to win, and I thought he played. That's really kind of a film thing, you know. But they, I mean, they played well all year. I think they're giving up 12 something a game, right? I mean, they're terrible compared to last year when they gave up nine something, you know. Uh, they're very good on defense, um, they're very sound. Uh, they did some pressure things today that, that uh, were a little different, but, uh, you know, coach, coach shows it. Does a good job getting that defense ready, and uh, um, they're good. You know, they tackle well. They're tough. Um, I enjoy the tenacity their kids play with. Uh, kind of admire it. Hopefully, we'll get here and see some of that ourselves.
offensively, they didn't – obviously this year they don't have the level of veterans and maybe some professional guys. But what what was maybe better, what was different about them this year? Well, I, you know, I, that was a, the team last year. Was a, I mean, they're, they were better than everybody else, you know. And uh, I think it's a little more balanced this year. Um, you know, they're finding ways to win. Uh, they're finding yards. You know, the multiple personnel groups, multiple tight ends. I didn't think we tackled particularly well today. I, now, when I say that, I don't mean it to be like, well, if we had tackled better, we'd have won. That may be that we didn't tackle very well because they broke tackles as well. Um, but they they do a really good job of finding yards. You know, moving, running some different <coughs> different front looks and and getting you out of sorts a little bit. And uh, you know, uh, they're well coached. They do a good job. Time for a couple more. Bobby, I, I don't think you guys normally jump off size as much as you did today. Why was that an issue up front? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if the, they couldn't see the ball or what, but they uh, I, that was that was uh, not very good by us. Yeah. Especially there was, there was one in the first half where we were third and ten, and they couldn't see the ball. It seemed like they were hard. They were just clapping. He was just clapping his hands twice. I have a question for Keenan. What's it like as a wide receiver? Well, it's it's just the work we put in. Like we, we put in a bunch of work in off season, just getting comfortable with both of them. And uh, yeah, it's just having that like feel for how they, they throw the ball differently. But getting that work in and being consistent with it is is crucial. And uh, I think yeah, I was able to we were able to get some good work in and make some short throws each other. So. All right, yeah. Travis. Let's take one more here then. Yeah. For both the players, um, just how do you hope this year's team is remembered? Um, I, I hope we're remembered as a bunch of hard-fought kids, um, love the game, love to compete, love each other. Um, I think we did a good job um, exemplifying that. And uh, yeah, I again, I wouldn't trade it for the world. These guys, these guys mean the world to me. I love every every single one of these guys on this team um, and the coaches as well. It's, it's, it's been a, a hell of a ride. I, I, I can't even put it to words, but. Yeah, just like Trev said, tough ass football team. Um, that's gonna, no matter who we play, where we play, we're gonna fight all the way to the end. So yeah, I, lo I love these guys. I love playing for this program and uh, I'll never forget it. It'll be good for us. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Very Thanks much. everybody. Excuse you.